All right, here's another three minute LinkedIn review. If you want your profile reviewed, be sure to comment on this video with a link to your profile and it will make the list. All right, so we've got Michelle Simmons. I took a look at this profile. It's looking pretty good. I noticed you've got a, a great profile picture. It looks good, you look approachable, you look friendly. We can stick with that. Uh, background image looks really great. Why? Because you've got one of our awesome Talent Stacker background images. If you guys want those, all you have to do is head over to talentstacker.com forward slash now. And when you sign up there, you'll get an email with our background images that you can use. All right, so moving down the list, Salesforce professional in the title, good stuff. I like that you're not saying enthusiast or aspiring. We need to own what we are trying to become. So Salesforce professional looks great. However, make sure to have the word administrator and analyst in your title. This is for search engine optimization when recruiters and hiring managers are typing in Salesforce administrator or Salesforce analyst you're going to come back more readily if you have those words in your title. Same thing throughout your profile, in your about section, etc. All right, so as soon as you're certified, we get the certified logo uh, in the background and we get Salesforce certified administrator and analyst in your title. Okay, coming down the list, activity is lacking. So I will keep saying this until the profiles don't look like this, but activity, we've gotta be on LinkedIn three to five posts a week. We've gotta be commenting with something meaningful, not just saying congratulations, uh, sharing something without a comment. We've gotta add something meaningful to the conversation. Why? Because LinkedIn is where hiring managers and recruiters look at your profile. One of the things they look at is your activity because they wanna see how you communicate with other people in a professional environment. LinkedIn is a professional environment. You should be communicating with other Salesforce professionals publicly on your feed and in posts and in comments. And they wanna see how you communicate the things you talk about and what interests you. So activity is very important for anyone wondering. All right, about section, it already looks pretty good, right? Like I'm seeing some color, I like that. The problem is what I've noticed is that we're using um, a little bit of cliche here. So if you read through this, you kind of press pause on the video and you read through this, you're saying things like fourth bullet point, very adept to absorbing new software system quickly. Um, Third bullet point, energized, ready to learn. Second, strong planner and problem solver. These sound really good, they're fluffy, right? But recruiters and hiring managers are looking at LinkedIn profiles and resumes all day. It's what they do. So they are not looking for generic verbiage. They need quantitative information. They, need, they don't need you to tell them you are a strong planner. They need you to tell them what you've done that proves you are a strong planner. They don't need you to show, or sorry, they don't need you to say that you're very adept at learning new software systems. They need you to tell them in a quick bullet, one sentence, two sentences, how you learned a new software quickly. And keep in mind that Salesforce is not a software, it's a cloudware, it's a base, uh, cloud-based program. So just keep that in mind. All right, now what I love about your profile, you've got a healthcare background. Healthcare is one of the hottest industries in the Salesforce ecosystem. Your healthcare background is going to serve you well. So you need to stand on that. That's gonna be foundational for your transition into the Salesforce ecosystem. However, once again, me looking at it from a technical perspective, trying to figure out if you're gonna be a good fit for my company. I like healthcare. I don't know what sterile processing technician is. I don't know what sterile technician processing like two verse one is and what makes a difference there. So I need you to explain it to me. You did a great job, but it's way too much. I'm never going to read all of this, right? Like if you were applying for a sterile processing technician job, this probably looks really good and it means something to people. But for Salesforce companies hiring you to be their professional, this isn't saying a lot to them about your ability. So what you need to do is highlight what makes it transferable. You need to highlight that you understand how to improve processes, improve efficiency, train individuals, work with patients or coworkers in a way that shows that you can work with people, you can explain complex things in simplified ways, um, and that you can handle changing requirements and rapidly changing priorities. And a lot of people in healthcare have all of those soft skills. Uh, we see that a lot in K-12 education as well. You have a ton of these soft skills and you need to be highlighting those soft skills. We don't care about the healthcare like details of what you did. We need you to highlight the soft skills. All right, same thing as we come down. Um, I think it's okay to keep everything, be cognizant of green real estate though. I think if we go back to 2016, that's plenty, six years back. Uh, we don't really need to go back any further than that. And it just shows you've always been a healthcare technician. So that's great. 
Education, totally fine. Volunteering, looks great. Your skills are Salesforce related, so that's perfect. Um, so I think we've got a little bit of work to do, but overall, a good profile, and I think we're off to a great start.